Uh, hello guys uh, today we are on proof by induction and we want to prove by induction that the summation of ri from i is equal to 0 to n is equal to r the power of n plus 1 minus 1 all over r minus 1 given r is not equal to 0 r is not equal to 1 and n is an element of natural numbers so when proving by induction uh, we begin off with our first stage the first stage is uh, we prove for n is equal to 1 all right this is the initial step of our proof by induction so for when n is equal to 1 here we have summation from i is equal to 0 to 1 of ri is equal to r the power 1 plus 1 minus 1 all over r minus 1 all right so a summation of ri from i equal to 0 to 1 first we plug in r the power 0 which is 1 then plus r to the power 1 which is R. Then on the right hand side we have R squared minus 1 over R minus 1. Okay. So simplifying the left hand side, okay, it's already simplified, which is 1 plus R. Then we go on to simplify the right hand side. So R squared minus 1. Uh, this one, if you look closely, you realize that it is a difference of two squares. So difference of two squares will say R minus 1 multiplied by r plus 1 over r minus 1 so here r minus 1 cancels out with r minus 1 and then we have r plus 1 is called r plus 1 therefore the statement is true for n is called 1 okay then the next stage, the next stage in our proof by induction is called the inductive hypothesis or the inductive assumption. This is the second stage, stage two, our inductive assumption. Right. So on the inductive assumption, we assume our N is equal to k okay so what we do at this stage uh, we just plug in k uh, if we look back at this expression wherever we have n we are going to replace n with k so that's what we'll be doing on our inductive assumption so here yeah, assume n is called k so we have summation of i of r of the power i from i is equal to 0 to k is equal to r of the power k plus 1 minus 1 over r minus 1 so this stage is done this is the inductive assumption then the next stage is uh, the third stage, which is uh, what we are required to prove, okay? We are required to prove, uh, if we can prove the statement uh, for n is equal to k, all right, it's required to prove the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1, okay? So, <coughs> if the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1 then we can go on and conclude uh, our proof by induction okay so at this stage uh, we are going to substitute again where we have n we are going to substitute with k plus 1 so we have uh, summation of r to the power i from i is equal to 0 to k plus 1 is equal to then on the right hand side we have r of the power k plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 all over r minus 1 like this 
so okay just simplifying here we have summation from i squared to zero to k plus one of ri is equal to r of the power k plus two minus one over r minus one <coughs> okay uh, so I will prove this side is this way uh, what we're going to do here we're going to break down the left hand side which is summation of r of the power i from i squared to 0 to k plus 1 uh, this is the same as the summation of r i from i squared to 0 to k plus the k plus 1 th the k plus 1 the term of the series ri okay so but here uh, we can on this one we go back to our inductive hypothesis stage 2 all right so on stage 2 we had summation of ri from i squared 0 to k is equal to r of the k plus 1 minus 1 over r minus 1 so this expression is what we are going to replace the summation of r i from i squared 0 to k in our stage 3 so we get back to our question stage 3 and replace this with the expression we got from the inductive hypothesis so here it will be r to the power k plus 1 minus 1 over r minus 1 and the k plus 1 the term of the series r i uh, we find this term by plugging in k plus 1 into r i just r i you know, have to sum up so here we we'll say plus r the k plus 1 we plug in k plus 1 on the i yeah so we get r the power k plus 1 so the next thing we have to do now is to simplify this uh, right hand side to see if it will give us the same as we had here uh, what is it as we is this one so we have to simplify here until we get to this expression so simplifying here uh, all right we find the common denominator right this one of which is r minus one we make this a single fraction since that was a single fraction uh, so here we have r the power k plus one minus one plus here we have r minus one into r the power k plus one <coughs> then we go on simplifying here we have r the power k plus one minus 1 plus r multiplied by r the power k plus 1 okay we can see that uh, we have a similar base so we just add the powers so this one is r of the power 1 so we get r of the power k plus 2 okay a k plus 2 here then subtract uh, 1 multiplied by r of the power k plus 1 which is r of the power k plus 1 all over r minus 1 okay which is equal to so here uh, we can see that r of the power k plus 1 and negative r of the power k plus 1 they subtract each other they cancel out so we are left with uh, this term r of the power k plus 2 minus 1 all over r minus 1 and then uh, then we check if this expression is similar or is the same as what we had here when we substituted k plus one so we can see that this is the same expression so we managed to prove for r for n is called k plus one okay so you, you then go on and give a conclusion So here yeah, we write our conclusion. Uh, we say since the statement, uh, the statement we are referring, referring to is the first expression that is 
in the question which was summation of r i from i is equal to zero to n is equal to r to the power n plus one minus one all over r minus one so since that statement is true for n is equal to one and n is equal to k plus 1 uh, hence we can conclude that by proof by method of induction uh, the statement is true for all real numbers okay <clears throat> oh sorry yeah, it's supposed to be natural numbers for all natural numbers since we are given the condition that n is an element of natural numbers so it will be true for all natural numbers okay yeah that's all for this question proof by induction thank you guys for watching we hope uh, you like and subscribe